Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Well, a few of you have shared the story with me about the black billionaire who married the Playboy Playmate. Now, recently I've been hearing a lot of talk about what he has done for at least 400 Morehouse students. Um, he has paid off their college debt. And for that, I commend him. And I'm pretty sure that those young men and their parents appreciate what he has done as well. Now, back to the woman he married. Now, being a black billionaire in and of itself is something that we don't hear of a lot. Okay, so... Many will say, well, wow, he is a black billionaire. That is an awesome achievement in this day and time because it's not something that we hear of a lot, okay? And so, rightfully so, many people often wonder, okay, who is he married to? Or when he marries, who will he marry, okay? No one ever assumes anymore that because someone is a black millionaire or billionaire that they're going to marry them a black woman. No one ever assumes that because we have seen a pattern that is kicking up and he is no different. This black billionaire decides to go get himself um, a white woman who is a playboy playmate. So he went to the bottom of the barrel and scooped up a wife uh, from the cesspools of society. Now, some of you may take offense to me saying that. And frankly, I feel like we go too soft on these situations because we want to be politically correct. Everyone is all off into this whole idea of marry who you want to marry or marry who you love. Now... Some of these situations have absolutely nothing to do with love. What man in his right mind, in his right mind, would decide that he's going to just pick a whore and marry her? Now, we know there was a case in the Bible where that took place, but there was a point that was trying to be proven with that. But this black man, he decides that he's going to marry and bed down with a whore. And a lot of people are okay with that. He, he's a rich man. He's wealthy. A billionaire. And so now he is about to drop his seed into a woman that is going to inherit his wealth and his children that he has with her will do the same. As a people, we are so sick in our minds to where our decisions are coming across as lunatic decisions. People in and around the world are laughing at us. They're saying, look, we can't even get them to marry each other. Can't even get them to marry each other. Because a whore is more favorable in a black man's eyes than a wholesome, beautiful, Claire Huxtable type woman. A lot of these black men would rather marry a, a, a whore of another race or nation than to marry a wholesome black woman. That shows you just how sick our people have become. To a we're dipping down into their cesspools and crowning their women as the queens and their men as the kings. And readily giving ourselves over to people who have told us time and time again that they can't stand us. And I repeat that statement a lot because I want to get it in your minds. I want you all to understand what we're up against. They've told us. They've showed us. They've proven to us that they can't stand us. And yet and still... Same thing over and over. A bunch of us, men and women, going out straightway like the ox, like an ox to the slaughter. Thinking that somehow 
your story is going to be different when that is not the case we're just showing more and more to the world what the Bible says about so-called black people the most High said it himself he said my people are stupid yes he did my people are stupid when I heard the story of this black billionaire I wasn't shocked or surprised at all because there is something that has been turned on in the minds of black men to where they think that if they become rich, famous, and wealthy, that their best choice and option for a wife and someone to be their mother, the mother of their children, should I say, the one that they want to mother their children looks nothing like them. It's a white woman or an Asian woman, or a Latino woman. I don't see too many brothers getting with Arab women, though. That's kind of funny to me. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that there's none out there, but I don't see hardly any Arab women ending up with no black man. I wonder what that's all about. But, here we go. Here we go again. Another black man soaking up all this wealth and ignorantly just volunteering to just pass it back to those who continue to tell us time and time again that they can't stand us. Sick, sick, sick. Okay, I am being called right now. So, I have to cut this video short because of that. My husband is calling. My black husband is calling. And so, I must go and see what it is he needs. Okay, family, shalom.